Yo, what's going on everyone? Back at it with another build. We're going to be building the Mantis ship from Star Wars Jedi Survivor or Jedi Fallen Order. Whichever one you prefer. And I think this is the best you can do it in this game. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Now that the ship is part, we can start at the front here. We do have a Teo cockpit. Uh, this is the only one I could get to work for the ship. If you choose really any other cockpit, there may be like a Nova Galactic one that works, but... This is the only one that works for this because you have to connect it to the back of this hab. If you do another one, you have to have a hab connected underneath of it. And then we have a Stroud Eklund Cap A and another one on this side. It's just this piece here, but flipped upside down. So it's that kind of rounded slope section. We do have a Nova Galactic Cowling. This is the variant version. So you look for the Nova Galactic Cowling and then you hit the D-pad and you can find this variant of it. We do have a three by one. You could replace this with a two by one and a one by one or three one by ones. Uh, it's just up to you. We do have our docker right underneath the ship here on that layer. So this is where our docker will go. It goes on the bottom. We have our Stroud Eklund landing bay. This is that side loading landing bay. It's kind of important for the look of this ship. We have our fuel tank. This is a single tile tall. This is like the biggest fuel tank I could find that would like fit in here. So it's just a 500T HE3 tank. We have more Nova Galactic Cowling on this side. We have three more on this side. So that kind of covers the front half of the ship. So for the back half here, we have a Teo in cap. Kind of pulls the ship out a bit and gives it some more like depth there. We have another one on this side. And we have four landing gear, Stroud Eklund landing gear on the back here. So it's the same landing gear, it's just four of them. And we have a Stroud Eklund uh, engine bracer. We have two of them to connect the wing. And a White Dwarf T20 engine. This is an A-class engine. We will be using C and B-class reactor, C-class grab drive and reactor. Uh, it doesn't really matter, you could lower that and go down all the way to A-class. Uh, I just chose the biggest and best one. For the side here, we do put a Teo side cap on the side of the landing gear. We put two on this side because we don't have that wing. So you just get that side kind of wall piece and you put it on there. We do have a Demos belly aft. This is just kind of like a sloped piece here. We just flipped it around so you can flip it. We'll undo that. And that is the bottom layer. Don't forget your landing gear on the bottom of that habitat there. Now for the middle layer, we start out with Stroud Eklund uh, kind of nose caps here again. That's the rounded slope section. We put one on either side. And then we have, it looks like six Stroud Eklund um, kind of side slope pieces here. When you just paint them different colors. And for the middle, we have uh, Hope Tech Cap A. We have three of them going down the middle. And then we switch to a Hope Tech Cap B section. I chose this shield here because it's like the lowest profile and the easiest one to kind of hide and it doesn't stand out as much. You could choose whatever shield you want. But this is the one that I found that I could hide the best because there's not too much room to hide stuff. And then we have a Deep Core... Uh, C-class reactor again you can use whatever reactor and grab drive you want but these are both C-class I just chose the biggest and best ones as I said we have our storage uh, I chose this one because it's the flattest one and uh, I felt like it would look the best in the back so it doesn't kind of it doesn't stick out too much or stand out like some of the other ones so that's kind of the only reason why I chose this you can choose a different storage or add more storage again we have two more of those white dwarf engines on the back these are A-class engines. And then we finish along the other side with those Stroud Eklund kind of cowling side slope pieces. So we can grab our middle layer here and move that on top. You want this on here like so. You want your front kind of Stroud Eklund kind of rounded slopes to be slightly overhanging from the cockpit like so. Now for our wing here, we have a Nova Galactic cowling. And then we have, it looks like, seven of these Demos Spine F pieces here to build that center wing of the ship. And then we can move these and put these on top here. And that is the Mantis from Star Wars Jedi Survivor or Jedi Fallen Order. 
I think it's the best you can get for this game. It needs to be more narrow, but you can't really make it any more narrow because we're working with three kind of tile pieces wide. It needs to be like one and a half or two pieces wide, but then you don't have a center like section to put that center wing on, so it just doesn't really work. Uh, again, it's the best you can do for Starfield with its limitations. That being said, let me know what y'all thought, and if you build it, and we'll catch you next time.